Hey crafty friends, welcome to 5 Minute Crafts and today we're creating a box for cards, for ATC cards, um, just a little box. You need a double sided card stock, 12 by 12 size and we're gonna cut this in half on the 6 inch line. And we're gonna use one half to create the box. Just pick the half that you like, sometimes they're not the same and we're going to start scoring so the first score line is going to be on the four inch line then move three quarters of an inch to the right to the four and three quarters then you need to measure four more inches to the right so that will be one two three and four which is the eight and three quarters line and then another score on the nine and a half inch line and you're basically done what we're gonna do is fold it now make sure to burnish your fold lines well with your bone folder and then we this is the base of our little box and we are going to create the walls next from the other half of the 12 by 12 double sided cardstock. So I'm going to cut this at five and a half inches, make it a little bit smaller, and then I'm going to score it on the one inch line, the one and three quarters, and then the two and three quarters, which will be a line that we're going to cut on, and then three and three quarters, four and a half, and five and a half. So this will give us the walls. Like I said, we are going to cut the paper on the five and a half line and on the two and three quarters line. So we're basically going to have two same size squares and then we'll fold this. These are the walls and they're a bit long so we are going to cut them lengthwise on the three inch line like this so they won't be so tall. They're going, the walls are slightly smaller than the box itself. They're going to go on the side. And by the way, you can choose what side of paper you want to use. I want to use the side that is not the box. So I'll have some kind of contrast. So once you have the walls, we can apply the glue. You basically have three flaps. The bottom one, the middle one, is the side wall. And the other two flaps are the the sides that are going to be adhered to the box. So you're going to start with attaching the first flap. Make sure that you can still fold it. And then on the other side you align the walls to the next to the second, sorry, to the second fold line from the bottom make sure again that you can still fold your box like this so now you apply glue to the other flap the one on the other side not the middle one and then you simply close the box and those two flap flaps will attach themselves to the box like this so just make sure that your walls are straight. You just put your fingers and straighten the walls. That's why I recommend using liquid glue so you can fix everything when you need to. And then you can cut uh, cards to match the size of your box. And for the front of your box, I've taken a chipboard flower with two paper flowers that I'm going to add on top of it. And the weight of the chipboard will leave the lid of the box closed but you can add a magnet or velcro or whatever you want as your closing mechanism but if you just 
put a heavy chipboard it will hold it in place and then you won't need to add anything else so you attach that chipboard flower only halfway on the lid and then you see that since it's heavy it will keep your box closed so this is the card box and the cards inside and I hope you liked it and you did make it in under five minutes so subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so and I will see you next time